Hi, I'm Rob Cos and welcome to my shop. I want to show you project number three in our hand tool workshop. Now this is the last project where we actually used northern white pine. After that we went to hardwoods. But this is uh, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this, but it was fairly complicated. And I'll show you some of the details. Simple bookcase, two, two adjustable shelves. Now the one drawback to pine is that it doesn't have a whole lot of strength. So you get into a situation where you've got a span. I think this is 30... Two inches, 30 and a half. And that's without some kind of support, a three quarter inch pine board under the weight of books is definitely going to sag. So, what we did is instead of making them two inches thick, and I wanted to be able to add this little bead that we used all around the perimeter, I did the same thing on the, on the shelf. I glued a strip on front and back. It served two purposes. Number one, actually three purposes. It allowed me to put my bead in somewhere. Number two, it uh, strengthened the whole thing. And number three, the way that it sits on these shelf supports, which are brass shelf supports that sit into a kind of a neat little um, brass insert, but it locks them in because it drops down over the two and you don't have to fear the shelf falling out. Now, by the way, this has been sitting in my home for a while, so it's got some marks from having been enjoyed. We, uh, and remember, these pieces were all dimensioned by hand, so they started off as rough boards. We used uh, something called a mitered edge dovetail up here in the top corners. So that ena enables you to have the uh, nice look of a through dovetail. But then, if you'll notice out here, particularly if you want to do some kind of edge decoration, the front, the leading edge is mitered. We did it on the back side as well. And that allows you to carry this bead uninterrupted. If it was a regular through dovetail, you'd have a butt joint here and not uh, terribly easy to do something like that in that situation. We also employed through wedge tenons. So what this is, these are pieces of the bottom shelf that come all the way through and the mortise is actually sloped so that when you then drive and prior to bringing the mortise the tenons all the way through you make cuts in them and then you drive wedges in in this case walnut wedges and that opens up the outside pieces of the pine tenon so that it creates an internal dovetail where you end up with a flared tenon in a flared hole or mortise and everything's glued in place and it's extremely strong. So there's three of those across there. And that's that's fairly advanced for uh, a third project. I probably should have left something like this to you a little bit later. We uh, The back, I like what we did in the back too. We used solid, I'll show it to you from both sides, solid pieces. So when you're dealing with 30 inches of uh, solid wood, you're going to get some fairly substantial expansion during the course of the year as the wood either gives off or takes on moisture to get equal it to equalize itself with the environment so everything sits in a groove or at least on three sides the sides and the top down here in the bottom we use brass screws and uh, we did it in such a way to allow for that movement now this one in the middle um i didn't uh, i can't remember what i did there and why i actually have three screws i hope i put a larger diameter hole in there to prevent this piece from splitting when when it moves. Have to watch that. Anyway, as far as the rest of these go, if you look inside, we cut, uh, it's a, it's uh, just a rabbit or a, yeah, I guess that'd be the right way to describe it. But what we did to break the joint is we cut a bead on one piece and then used the opposite piece just to do the groove on the other side of the bead. And then as this moves, that little groove will get narrower and wider seasonally. So, And besides that, it's behind books, so it's rarely seen. We did the same, we did the same detail underneath the shelf. We put it up underneath here to give this top a little bit of added strength as well so that it won't sag over time. Can't remember how many episodes this took. I'm thinking it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 70. 70 or 80. They're all on there on the site. So if you want to uh, join and go back and view them, you, they're, they're there for you. Um, the other thing, the only other thing that we did is we cut 
we cut this uh, this half moon down here, or half circle. We cut that with a coping saw, and then we went in with a uh, spoke shave and cleaned it up to get rid of any of the uh, rough cut from the coping saw. Fun project. Really enjoyed doing it. That's on the, uh, hand, the hand tool version of our online workshop. If you're interested and you'd like to try a free month, if you go to free month on robsworkshop.com, it'll take you right to where you need to go. You register with your email, your uh, first name, last name, and country of residence. That's all you need. And it'll within 24 hours, it will send you an email where you'll go add in your, uh, choose your password, and away you go. You've got 30 days. In the 30 days, it disappears. If you like it and you want to join, it's up to you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you in the shop again soon.